Morning. All right. So that's the first one. Those were the next three. Last night we pulled her, she calved, and then her back there in the big part, she also calved. So now we're getting full. Pens are getting dirty. I got a lot of buckets to, of feed to bring in here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Right. Seven calves. Okay. So we're in a bit of a rush this morning. We got a lot of calves to deal with. We also got the vet coming at nine and it's about 7.30 right now. So it's gonna take all the time we have to feed. And then get cattle up so everything's ready to go. And the vet's not waiting on us because they're busy people as well. Bye mom. She didn't even wave. So when I was doing some of this stuff in the barn, dad went around, made sure everything was all right. And actually three heifers calved outside. Pretty much we had six calves last night. Good thing it was warmish. They're doing just fine. We got a lot to deal with today. Six calves in one night. Do it while it's nice weather, I suppose. Here's one of the calves. Dad got a call that our vet is busy. He had to go pull a calf, so it's gonna be probably another hour, hour and a half, which is, you know, we got stuff to do, so that'll be okay. It's just, our day's gonna be a little longer now. Hello? Hello, oh, hey! Here you go. So we're gonna finish our first tube this year of optimizer gel, and get pretty deep into the next one. We got the 10 claves. What's that? We got 10 claves. I thought it was 11. I don't do math good though. I don't know. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, we got 10. Okay. So you missed the part where I counted to 12 and then dad was like, but right before that, he said he don't count good, so math is hard for some people. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so we got three. We got to go tag and do the optimizer and do the iodine spray. But what what are what are our numbers now? Something that equals 10. It's bad. It's bad, he eight says. Eight to two. Eight to two. So we got eight heifers and two bulls. All right. Welcome to Earth, Earthling. Oh, no. Somebody fix it. Ellie's gonna be pleased when she finds a snack later. Mm. Carries it to the garage. <laughs> it's tangy. Somebody asked me the other day if I'd rather eat some of that fried or something else, a would you rather type situation. Uh-huh. That's a good one. And gosh, whatever it was didn't sound all that bad when I was comparing it to eating that stuff fried. <clears throat> My goodness. Tastes good, good for you. Maybe if it was freeze dried and sprinkled over a hamburger and oh I didn't, didn't know it. But otherwise, no. You're getting fancy with your preparation That's of good. the afternoon. Well, there's, you know, if you have to do something, but you have options on how to do it, then sometimes it's not quite so bad. Which brings us to the song of the day. <laughs> the song of the day. Yeah, the song of the day is uh, Led Zeppelin, When the Levee Breaks. That's all I got to say about that. Have a listen though, it's good stuff. It I ain't guess good. I had more to say. It ain't good when the levee breaks. No, when the levee breaks, got nowhere to stay. And it keeps on raining. Yep, huh. the levee's gonna break. Nice. That's a skinny guy. Yeah. I got the dirty fender. Yeah, it happens. I got the iodine on mine. Oh, oh. Did I get your fender? 
fender good enough? Oh, yeah. That just showed up, kind of good timing. We just got finished up, you know, running through all the calves, moving stuff around, getting all the feeding. And so what we're gonna be doing with our replacement heifers, they're about a year old. We're gonna take a device and position it on the rear end of the animal and basically measure how wide, how tall and how wide I think the back end is, just to make sure that in a few months, about four months from now, three, yeah, about four months from now, They'll be ready to breed, and about a year from now, they'll be ready to, ready to calve, and they won't have troubles with it. Then later today, we got pairs to move around. It's gonna be busy. Fourteen by twelve. Yeah, so you saw that tool maybe that they you put it in the back side and squeeze it and see basically how far wide open they can get it to go. And they measure in centimeters. So anything over 140 square centimeters is going to be expected to be good to breed. There were about five of them that were a little too small, might have a tough time breeding. So we just cut the tags out. They get sold as like a feeder. You know, we'll sell them with our other ones in the feedlot at about 800, 900 pounds. So we gotta bring that middle pen up so they're out of the way, and then we'll take them back out to their pen. Dad took off with a load of corn. Just trying to slip it in right before they close at one o'clock. It's getting pretty dang close.
looks like nothing else is calving. Time to get some lunch. It's nice to be back working, you know. We've been putting out only one video a week the last, basically all of January. Now we got some content. We got some farming to do. And I'm not just sitting in the house shopping for pickup trucks. Also, while the vet was here, we had a couple open heifers. And we just had them preg check, make sure that they were, in fact, open. And luckily, one of the wildest heifers we have turned out to be open, which is this girl. Oh, she looked halfway calm there. Ellie's not helping. And then this big, beautiful heifer, unfortunately, was open as well. So, huh. Woo. coming to a table near you. The poo that these critters excrete while they're eating that piles up when it's really cold is getting thawed. So I'm going to pull that away, make it easier, make their lives easier. And also, you know, we put a lot of time into putting clay behind there. And I don't want that manure mixing with the clay and ruining it because we spent many hours, many days doing that. And Dad's still waiting in line. It's been like close to two hours that he's been over there at the ethanol plant. Prices are pretty good, so people are hauling a lot of corn. <laughs> he actually said someone was sitting in line so long they had someone else come and haul them some fuel because they were getting low. Now that's funny. <laughs> That's a little better for those guys, of course. It's despite the 50 degree weather the last two days, it's still frozen underneath and I can't get all of it. But kind of as good as I can get where it's thawed a little bit, but it's not so soupy, it just runs everywhere. And it's, yeah, so whatever. You know what I'm saying? Looks like Brian just made it back. Look how windy it is. Oh. the babies <laughs> you're spinning around I don't have good knees <laughs> oh man where's my trusty slappy when I need it come on this is like herding cats I tell you what come on little fellas Hey buddy. Are you guys ready for your first trailer ride? It's gonna be fun. Think of it as a class trip. Let's go. Yee, they're roaring. They don't like it when you tap them. Oh, this one's. When you tap them down here in the lower leg, it's like, oh, I don't like it. You got it. Oh, wow. Slappy time, they say. Hey, don't lick that dirt water. I tell you what. Whoa. He attacked me, Dad. Did you see it? You're okay. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
One small step for man, one giant step for baby Clave. Come on. Let me help you there, pal. There you go. Are they paired up? Looks pretty decent, these two and those two. All right. So that's what we do for the next three months, really, is as things calve and they're old enough, we move them to small pens. And these small pens are adjacent to pastures that we can eventually, when the grass is green and tall, we can shove them right out. So it gives them space, gets them out of the barn. One more to go. It's okay, I'm a friend of your mother's. Pretty full day of cattle work, a bit of calving. We have good temps, good calving weather, and hopefully it kind of keeps going. All, all the, though we could use some moisture, some snow, or some rain. It's kind of not a good time of the year to get it, so for calving, but our soil could really use it. Anyways, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. It's not working. I'll do it myself.